All right, guys, quick recap on some things, so that way I can be able to let y'all know where I'm at, what kind of kit this was, in case you're new, um, you haven't seen any of the videos or anything like that. Um, so when it comes to doing head bolts, those right there, they are done in a sequence. So you start in the center and you keep it going in a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, thing like that. You keep it going like that till you get up here. And then on these, you start right here, then here, then there, then here, which is, I mean, to me, it's kind of crazy how it's done, but that's the manufacturer spec, so that's the way I'm gonna do it. I don't wanna damage anything or anything further than that. So, um, pretty much some parts that have been replaced. Uh, mine suffered lifter and camshaft failure. If you've kept up with some of the videos that I've posted on Instagram, Facebook, or even on the YouTube channel itself, just about. That's my neighbor asking, is it done, guys? So anyway, um, you've got the uh, new Tom and Jane, new tensioners and guide. I went ahead and bought a new oil pump just because of camshaft failure. It probably got oil contaminants in it. I'm not gonna take a chance on that. Um, the kit that I bought came from MMX, which is Modern Muscle Extremes. Um, the kit that I bought was a MDS Delete kit. My car had solenoids in here, four of them. And personally, I mean, I kinda like the gas saving feature, but it's one of those things. So I just said, let's just remove it because it's they, as I was told, it's part of the problem with the 11 to 14 Dodge Chargers. It can cause problems. Mine did. So anyway, there's that. So um, while you're while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the orange paint, but that's the mark that you're looking for for the top part of the phaser. And then of course these two need to line up with it. But the reason why it doesn't line up now is because we for 20 minutes straight yesterday we're sitting here hand cranking the motor over checking all of the rocker arms and making sure everything is doing its thing and also a tip if you do replace your oil pump i don't have all the parts right now but just take yours apart and grab this gear out of your oil pump pretty much what that does when you do that is you can put a pipe wrench on it and hold your um crank in place while you're trying to torque the cam bolt it's just a small little tip but anyway guys if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask i'll keep y'all posted